It gets worse when you know that we don't even need this damn refinery anymore. But money and influence get in the way of me living a long, cancer-free life, Brian. 50 recognized harmful substances, including toxic gases and heavy metals. The CRC with a capacity of 130,000 barrels per day was the fourth highest in toxin emissions among Canadian refineries in 2019. It also leads in fugitive emissions, contributing to 48% of Canada's total fugitive emissions in 2021. That is to say, it burps and belches things it's not supposed to, it has leaks, and with all the refineries that there are in Canada, our meager refinery here, right in the city, belches out almost half of them. These are VOCs, or volatile organic compounds, which are linked to cancer, including N-hexane. I don't know what that is, but it doesn't sound good. Which can cause neurological damage and was half of Canada's refinery emissions at 203 tons. Okay, so it has led emissions of toluene and benzene, known neurotoxins, and cancer-causing agents. You know, it's, it's always great when a substance causes cancer and uh, neurological damage. And if none of this has your attention, consider that a 20-minute sour gas leak on February 27th, 1989 caused children at a nearby school to be overcome with nausea. Sour gas is one of the oil industry's most feared emissions capable of causing near instant death in enclosed spaces at high concentration. Chronic exposure may be more serious for children because of their potential longer latency period, raising additional concerns for schools and daycares near refineries. They emit not only air pollution, but actual droplets, droplets that can get into your garden vegetables. And this is not a good thing for anyone in Regina, but every mayor in the last 50 years who has come through this city is culpable for this. Is it worth dying for? It is not. I don't think anyone would say it's worth dying for jobs. I know people who have cancer. You have to ask, you know, are these people sick because of the refinery? And as sure as hell, they're not going to say, well, it's okay that for the cancer, I'm willing to sacrifice myself because, damn it, we need those jobs.